Hi, welcome to this short video. Um, it's going to describe how you can play multiple sounds simultaneously in WinForms. Normally in WinForms you would use the sound player to make sounds, but the sound player doesn't let you play simultaneous uh, multiple sounds. And that comes up as an issue when you're doing a game. For instance, you might have a background sound and then you want to play like some sort of action sound on top over the top of that. And you can't do that easily with the sound player in WinForms. So this uh, video talks about how to use the media player, uh, how to get references for the media player and get it to work basically. So we'll have a look quickly at what we've got here. Um, so basically what I've got is I've got, at the moment I've got two separate um, Visual Studio um, sessions running. I've got one here with the solution in it. So the code for all of this solution is in GitHub and a link for that will be in the uh, description below. Um, I've also got an empty application at the moment and what we'll do is go through the process of uh, putting this code into the empty application, or at least some of the code, uh, and going through the process of getting the references sorted out because the references are a bit tricky to get working. So <clears throat> um, the first thing you can do is grab the first line of code and we might put a button in or something just so I can over a little bit and we'll put some code in right up the top of the class and straight away that should come up with squiggly lines okay so it's asking for an assembly reference so you right click on it you uh, quick action it and um, you can just put in the last one which is a reference to the presentation core and that should work now. So it's accepting media player. And let's go and grab another line of code. Um, so let's just uh, grab this chunk of code. And we get some more squiggly lines here. And basically we need to do the same trick. We right click, we actions, and you click on this rectangle here. And that uh, includes the win base. So that's done. So now everything's set up so that you should be able to um, access all the code that you need. Uh, the only other trick that you really need to know about is that the sound player, it has um, an option to play things on loop. So I think you can play loop, whereas the media player does not. So what you'll have to do with the media player is you'll have to include some uh, code. Just try so you can see the code for that actually is right here. Um, and so what we're doing basically is we're handling the event when the media has ended. And what we do when the media has ended is we just set the position, play position back to zero. And so we'll just keep looping. So that's how we can do a sort of manual play loop on the music. And that's it really. Um, like I say, for the um, code behind uh, the code that I'm showing you now, have a look in GitHub and the links will be in the description in the video. Hopefully this is helpful for you.